Hey there everybody, Kopika here. Welcome back to more Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we managed to head into the inverted pyramid and end up taking down Br Breta, Brutal, Mela, whatever her name is. And then we managed to go ahead and, well, end up dancing with some wonderful sombrero dudes. And now in this episode, we're actually going to head into the hole that the inverted pyramid revealed to us. And hopefully we can solve the issue of this frozen tundra. Because Tulsarina's kingdom needs to become 104 Fahrenheit and not like 6 or negative 6 for that matter. We should be dead This is what I'm trying to say like whoa, okay Ice physics is no bueno, but you want to know what actually does not end up getting um affected by ice physics Goombas Now I know what you're saying Do Goombas really don't get affected by ice physics actually funny enough they don't it's weird and it's make no dang sense to me but you know what that's okay because i'm not gonna really bother to try to even understand its concept of how um goombas are not affected by this yeah so look at it. goombas have uh yeah goombas canonically have rubber feet it's actually kind of weird they know how it is all right so these guys here are stat goombas why they call stat goombas well for, for one i end up getting hit and they're pretty much good people and if you end up essentially hopping on another goomba you end up going and stack on them so what you want to do you want to get off of this you hit that grab this time you jump right and now you have multiple stacks look at that we're stacking goombas it's actually pretty nice because you also kind of need them to actually get this mode so <laughs> Uh, we're not done yet, though, because we don't want to actually do the platforming section here with Mario, because with Mario, he'll just literally slip, because the ice physics in this game is real. Like, they are too real to the point that just the fact of even the act of moving will kill you. And you notice, you can see up there, there are some coins, and we can actually go up there. You know, like in Breath of the Wild, would it say, you see that mountain over there? You can go there. And I'm like, oh, no. Anyways, uh, their services were no longer required. Trust me. That Goomba, uh, that Bullet Bill has a hat. Any enemy with a hat is usually always dangerous. So take the Bullet Bill and go over to the side over here to be able to access this area. And then you can be able to access the next moon that we can get. Which was kind of also hidden too. Whoop. Be careful. Platforming is great in this game, but it can end up getting you killed if you ain't careful. Okay, I thought literally I was gonna get like a friggin' Mario Maker flashback where every single block was like that, and I was gonna be really sad. The underground treasure. Alright, so now it is actually time for us to continue on forward, and we're gonna end up fighting a boss that was also during the showcase of Super Mario Odyssey. Ah, and this is where the ring must have been. What gave it away? I don't know, the diamond. I, the diamond just kind of sort of just gave it away, you know? There's a face up there. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, something I want to showcase. Now, you probably be thinking that, man, these things are just background elements. Uh, No, they're actually not. You can actually get up on this thing. And uh, you end up finding some nifty stuff. There's also something up there. <laughs> if you could believe that. If, well, if you manage to actually get up there, which I will end up showcasing. If I have to go ahead and cut, I will. If I end up messing up again, I will end up cutting. But you can get up there. And there is something up there. And you should get that thing that's up there. Or else. All right. There we go. So we get up on here. Get up a little bit further up. Do ourselves a little backflip. And look at that. A bunch of coins. I actually did not know about that because I was like, Oh, there's nothing up there. They just have this for decor. And it's like, no, you can actually get up there. And it's like, yo. Mario Odyssey is lit. <laughs> I've been saying that word a lot. I don't know why. It seems to be my, like, word of the day. But then again, I'll also be calling a lot of things dudes as well. Like, like, dollary dudes. Mango dudes. Something dudes. Anywho. Time for ourselves a boss.
I didn't take the ring, but sure. Anyways, say hello to the boss that, um, what you call it, uh, players have to play. I forgot, the, the, the people that play that, um, Mario thing, where they have to play a bunch of Mario games, you have to essentially hit him with the ice so that his hands could go ahead and be frozen or stunned. And after it's stunned, you can end up, um, taking his hand, controlling his hand, and punch him right in the face. He's not, he's not really a hard boss. He takes three hits. He does start to get a little bit more spacks with his throwing ice of stopping you. And I think if he stops you, like, a good amount of times, like, I think, like, three times, he will end up, um, he will end up, um, you will break out of it. So you do want to be careful. So you kind of want to do is, like, go over to, like, the side of him. And then so you can be able to get him. So, yeah. Fairly easy. There is a way to be able to grab the... I think there is a way to grab the hands again when he's doing the rocket punch attack. But I don't really know, so I don't really want to risk it. Also, he seems to give you a hand. Well, that's nice. I'm, I'm glad that he's giving me a hand. That's nice. I, I appreciate that. I don't appreciate this, though. Come on. Oh, I missed. I got him. Alright. Now let's go! Thank you, and goodbye. Laters. Also, can we get that triple moon, please? I don't know why it's in your head, but we kind of need it. I know you thought that we took the ring, but I don't know why you activated now, of all things. But anyways, let's go ahead and get out of this. Let's go ahead and make this world better again, so that way Mario can stop freezing. Woo, it's so hot now, but I do suppose that's what we were trying to accomplish. If we keep up the pace, we'll catch we'll catch Bowser in no time. Ah, pace! That's right, it's world peace. That's what the um the completion is. It's world peace. That's what I was trying to figure out what it was, because I'm stupid and I actually could not figure that out. <laughs> uh, it was really making me sad. But anyways, Tulsa Arena is back to its normal roots. It is now hot again. Yeah! Hey, there's a Lakitu over there. Or Latiku. Or whatever the coup. You know, his name keeps changing for me to a point that I actually just stopped caring. <laughs> Yo, I need you, son. Now, here's what Lakitu actually does. You see that big giant fish right there? That's the fish that you want. You want to know what sucks about that fish? It actually activates um, with vibration. So you want to know why this is a problem? Now, the reason as to why this is a problem, I can't feel vibrations. Also, um, they do like disappear, but they end up showing up again. So what you want to do is kind of not drop the fishing rod near them because they will end up disappearing. They look like land fishes, not going to lie. To be able to get the visualization of when the fish grabs onto it, like you can kind of see like Lakitu get, you can kind of see like the rod, the fishing bait go down a bit. And you kind of end up conceding it a bit. So it's not hard to tell when it's about to grab it. I think or okay maybe it is kind of hard for me to actually know when it's gonna grab it maybe if it just does that I can be able to just grab it there I don't think you have to actually wait for an actual bite if that is the case then I think we will be fine but if we can't really like figure out if he's gonna where is he where'd he go Okay, there we go. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. So he just had to bite the thing. That's about it. All right. That, that's easier than what I was trying to do before. But we're not done yet. We got something else that we got to fish. We need to take Lakitu all the way over here. Those um other fish, or those other cheap cheeps, I should say, they're all coins. The, the little ones are all coins, but the big ones are usually are the ones that you want to go for. Like this big one right here. And there you go. We just popped out Captain Toad. I don't know why he was there, but hey, whatever. Hey, why were you buried down there? 
Why were you also a fish? Yeah. Captain Toad, what are your secrets and why aren't you telling me them? That's okay. You don't have to actually tell me anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and get those lovely Doritos. Come to me, Doritos. Come to me. Anyways. Uh, we'll be, uh, we'll be, like, literally changing outfits every single time. Because that's exactly what we do. Uh, alright. So, what can we do in Tostarina? Well, essentially we can kind of do, like, a lot of things. We actually also want to talk to this guy. The taxi, a taxi, you pulled up finally. Take me to Metro Kingdom. Sorry about the hold up. Had some car troubles I would not believe. Can't leave for Metro Kingdom yet. I promise I'll get you there. Just gotta dice the, uh, dice, dice the everything. Go to Metro Kingdom, go to Metro Kingdom. What the hell is Metro Kingdom? I don't know, maybe some kind of weird stuff going on. Uh, hmm. Well, these guys seem to be having some fun. So now that every ice area is basically gone out of existence, which is a good thing because it means that I can finally go ahead and access stuff that I wouldn't be able to access before. So yeah. All right. So now that we're here, essentially this is one of the few sections where we have to go ahead and do things without Cappy. This is our first platforming section. Now, you see, I would be upset about these sections, but the thing is, is that Mario's control is good to the point that I don't have any sort of fear in movement. So, like I said, as long as Mario's controls are good, it makes the off, the, 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 um, the non-cappy sections worthwhile without really being so difficult to do to deal with I should say and I say that now as I almost end up falling to my death wow there's only one coin there that's really upsetting to me uh, yeah all right sadly there's a horn that is honking outside I can't do anything and these goombas are trying to get in my way uh all right Give me that heart. I actually don't want to even... Oh, what? Oh, I see it. I see me a thing. And it's trying to hide from me. Always use your camera, folks. Your camera is usually the thing that ends up basically telling you where to go if Mario can actually land. <laughs> Alright. Good, but at least I got all my health back. Also, another thing you might have noticed, not sure if you have noticed it or not, but if you notice that every time Mario gets a moon, he's actually doing a position, a uh, hand gesture from three Mario titles. I'll probably end up putting them up as long as he ends up doing all three of them separately. If he doesn't do all three of them separately, then well, uh, we're screwed. <laughs> like seriously, we're we're actually screwed. Whoa! No! Ah, eh, whatever. We still have to kind of get across, though, because we got to I mean, do we really need to do that? No, because that... Actually, wait. Hold on. No, nope, it's too far. Even though it kind of does look like you can it, you kind of can make it, but you can just make it. I'm not going to really bother, though. It's kind of a waste of time with me for, for me to be doing that, to be fair. I'll leave that to the pros. There's a lot of things that you can do with the um, Cappy Jump. Like, it, it's, it's both broken and very easy to do. But it's also one of those things that you kind of have to um, know when you need to use it. Rather than how you're supposed to use it. Because sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it can actually just make you waste time. And most of the time, you are wasting your time, so don't bother. Is there anything we're missing? Just need to make sure there are no other coins. Nope. Also, Cappy will end up coming back to you, because obviously you cannot go anywhere without him. It'll also be kind of messed up if you just literally just leave him into the dust. <laughs> Alright. And the horn is happening again. Wow, is somebody's car just literally just having interruption problems? 
Also, if you shake the control stick when you're going through those currents, you can end up accessing them. This guy. I need him. He is called Glade? No, I don't think his name is Glade. I think he's, just, he's just a glide being that, well, if you end up using him, you end up go ahead and be able to glide all over the place. He's very useful. And that's really all I can really say. <laughs> it's like he is very useful. And that's it. Now, we do need to go ahead and find that bird that I was talking about. You know, that one bird that is his cousin. He is somewhere around. He usually flies in this general direction. And he's easy He's easy to spot as long as you wait for him. When does he... Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, when does he show up? He shows up now. <laughs> oh, man. That was, uh, that was funny. Uh, all right. So we're actually gonna go up there. Might as well, you know, um, might as well showcase the teleporter. Okay, that's not where I wanted to go, but you know what? It's whatever. I wanted to go here. I actually thought that was just gonna land me into the poison goop. That's why, because I didn't really see the platform. All right, so we need the Jaxi here for two reasons and two reasons only. Um, it's to essentially do this thing is e easier or easily I should say not easier whatever I can't speak and there we go you can do it in a platformy manner but I don't feel like it so I'm not gonna bother now let's head over there we don't really need to wait for the um, thing to time out we do need to access here and funny enough you actually do not need to go through there you can actually just literally just wall jump your way up there and it's like yo for reals <laughs> yeah like yeah you, you don't have to go through there there's a lot of stuff you don't really have to do you can just use the cappy jump which is really really useful in terms of platforming in this game right, let's throw the hat let's get ready for another platforming segment this one you do have to roll which the game ends up telling you by literally moving the joy cons up and down like a fool. And that's it. Alright. Uh, what else are we missing in terms of progression? Uh, well, not there. It's the Moia. It's like, I don't think there's been anything over there just yet. Uh, let's get two more moons before we call it a part. So let's grab these. Oh, I for, oh, I I hope I actually do remember to put in the pictures of the hand gestures that he's doing. We look at his dog, and his dog is so happy. And now we have to follow said dog, because his dog actually will end up making us see and find a moon, which is probably not even over there. So I'm actually gonna go over here. Try to just let the dog just do what he wants. But the dog actually is like that. He does have to end up, um... Oh, okay, there is a moon there. Okay, never mind, shot. <laughs> ah, whatever. Good job, doggo. Now, catch my hat. Now, let's go. We're going to distance. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And that's what I'll call it a part for now. Uh, we'll actually be exploring a little bit more of Tostarino Kingdom for a bit, just for some other moons if I'm missing any. And then after that, we'll actually be heading to another area. So I've been Kopika, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Laters!